We believe that context-aware computing is poised to fundamentally change the way we interact and relate to uh, the devices um, that we use today. Through a combination of sensing and inference, and we'll talk more about what that means, future devices will constantly learn about you. They'll learn your habits, the, the way you go through your, your day. They'll really learn about your life. They'll understand your, your friends and, and so forth. They'll probably even know how you're feeling. Uh, you know, they'll know where you are, uh, and more importantly, they'll know where you're going. They'll anticipate uh, your needs, as we saw in the, um, in the video. They'll know your likes and dislikes. Uh, you know, you're, as you shop and browse and surf and whatnot, they'll learn where you like to go on the, on the net and what topics interest you. The prototype that we built, we use content for New York, but for today's demonstration, we are actually have loaded the device with, uh, with San Francisco content. Now, if I'm a visitor to San Francisco, and let's say I don't know a whole lot about San Francisco, but one thing that I've heard about is, I've heard about the ferry building, and I understand the ferry building might be by the waterfront, so I'd like to go there. So, Dave, how would that work? All right, well, on this mid, we have an application that's running on top of our context framework, which enables it to be context aware. You can see we have a uh, map that shows your current location, uh, indicated by the red dot. What we'd like to do now is make our device believe that we're actually at the ferry building, and you can see that the dot has moved over to show where we are. Now, while I'm here, I'd like to find a restaurant to, to go to dinner at tonight. So I can go ahead and press search. I can look for restaurants in the future, it's dinner tonight, uh, within a half mile of where I am currently. Now at this point, uh, other travel apps would have me actually enter the cuisine types that I'm interested in for, that, for tonight. However, since this is context aware, it already knows what kind of cuisine I like, what style of restaurants I like, even how much I usually am willing to spend on a night out uh, when I'm on vacation. And Dave can be a real tight one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, know he signs my expense. <laughs> um, but let's, uh, in this case, let's go ahead and let the device use what it has learned about me to filter my restaurant choices. And it's now looking through the photos database. It's come up with four restaurants that are near the ferry building. Uh, on these, I could go ahead and plot them on the map so I could see where they are. Or I could, in fact, if I'd made a reservation, add them to my calendar, which would then, the system would then calculate the travel time based on where I am, update it throughout the day based on traffic, and make sure to remind me so I'm not late for the restaurant. Now, what's important about the selection is it just isn't randomly all the restaurants that are in that area, nor is it just the rec uh, restaurants that we at Photos may recommend. But these are choices is tailored for you. That's exactly and right. And that's what makes it, um, for our standpoint, much more workable. Now, when we developed this prototype, we talked about how travelers um, may be in different modes as they go through uh, explore a city. They may be in mission mode. I need to get to a particular restaurant uh, at 7 o'clock, and I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want any other interference. But they also may be in wander mode. So if I'm in... <laughs> Uh, down by That's the, the way I travel. Go, I just kind of wander <laughs> around. <laughs> Absolutely. So if I'm in wander mode, I'm down by the by the ferry building, and I'm, I'm I have some a couple of hours to kill. I want to explore the neighborhood. Again, based on my preferences, what will the device do? Well, when you're in wander mode, you don't actually have specific things you want to see. You just really want to wander around the neighborhood and maybe have the device make recommendations of places to go, things to see, based on my current circumstances, what I like, and what's around me. So the context engine is constantly, well, not constantly, but in real time, generating suggestions uh, for what's around you. And you can see the suggestion button has lit up yellow, which means the system has a new set of suggestions for me. So let's press that and take a look. Um, we're by the ferry building, so that's actually the closest thing to me. But I noticed down here also the San Francisco Railway Museum is here. Now I could go ahead and uh, plot that on the map, and we could see that, in fact, it is very close. It's in within walking distance. And before I got down there with my device and used this, I didn't even know that was there. So I wouldn't have found it without Wander Mode explicitly giving me those recommendations.